Agents, what's up? Patrick Wolf here. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys what I think to be the strongest build in PvP at the moment. My favorite build so far. I claim this. This is the Patrick Wolf build. LMG. It is amazing. The best LMG build that you can make. Um, I've just been trying to test this out. I've just been testing it out and I really want to min max this build. I find it unbelievable. The damage is unrivaled. The damage buff that you can get from this build is unrivaled. Even the Vector SMGs struggle to keep up with this beast of a gun that you're going to be using now. So first and foremost, specialization. We're going to be demolitionist. Make sure you have onslaught. Tier 3, all 3 buffs, 15% uh, LMG damage. Once you have that, we're going to go into this build. Now, the reason why I have this exotic right here is because we're going to be using the holstered talent this is quite important this is ruthless now you get this for pre-ordering the game you can get a merciless which is has the same holstered talent which you can get from doing hyena missions grind the hyena missions and then you is a chance that the boss will drop this so what we want is this uh, brutality so you get five percent chance to do 20 damage as explosive damage now you can stack this which is very potent um, but we'll get into that later First of all, the, now the build. We're going to have three Wyvern pieces. The mask uh, gives us crit damage, drone skill power, and crit chance. This set is perfect because we want drone skill power because we're going to be using the, defenders, the defense drone, which deflects bullets. It's very important to this build. And we get the 10% crit chance. So what you want to roll on this is weapon damage, LMG damage, crit, and crit chance crit damage. Those are the things you want to roll. Don't worry about skill power. Um, if you can get some drone skill power, that'd be great. But we get that here, so don't worry about that. Don't worry about headshot damage. Headshot damage won't help you because the reticle is massive in this gun uh, because of the talent that we have on the gun, which I'll be showing you now. So don't worry about headshot damage. You will struggle to hit headshots. It's not easy, but it still hits like a truck. You don't need headshots. So, chest piece. This is the most important piece. You need this piece, guys. Um, this is got LMG damage 10%. Speaks for itself. Amazing. Crit chance. I'd rather have crit damage there, unfortunately, and armor, but 10k health is not bad because we have hardened. Hardened, one of the best talents in the game. 10% armor. That's how I got a 182. Without this, it'll be as low as 166,000. So it's very important to have hardened. I recommend on all pieces if you could. This is the Wyvern piece. Crit, di crit damage, crit chance. Perfect. That's what we want. Uh, this is another piece that you guys need to make sure you roll. 5% total armor is very important for this build. I got bonus armor from re-rolling this and extra crit damage, which is great. Um, very important piece as well. This is also one of the most important pieces in the build. Explosive damage. This goes with the exotic that I showed you. While that's holstered, you're going to be every 5%, you could be stacking your explosive damage. I've got destructive. We get more explosive damage. But when you when you see your enemies blow up while well, training them with this LMG beast. I promise you guys the best feeling ever. It's a really fun ball to use. And when that explosive damage procs, you can see it. They just get obliterated in two bullets. It's that it's that ridiculous. You can kill someone with two bullets and I've seen it. So that's the gloves. This is another Wyvern piece. I'd rather have something like Hardened or anything like that. Extra we don't want skill power. I'm gonna have to reroll this. It's not perfect. And I want some armor on it. Armor is very important for PvP. Once again, that's the Wyvern set. So now, fix a drone. The Wyvern set helps to this. It helps towards this. It gives it a buff. Not the fixer drone, guys. Sorry. We want to use a defender drone. This actually de deflects bullets. This helps you against those pesky vector users who think that that's the best gun in the game. We're going to be destroying those guys with this. Make sure you have the defender drone because it complements uh, with the Wyvern set with all that crit. Chem launch is obviously what you guys need to have. So this is the, the main thing in this build. This is what you need to have. Now, what gun should you use? That's the question. MG5 is good. You can use that if you want, but this is my favorite LMG. I've been doing quite a bit of testing in the firing range. I don't want to get into too much detail with it, but I feel like this is the best to use right now. It's got high damage, high RPM. As you can see, the M60, lower damage, lower RPM. So this is the one to go for. Unhinged. This is the reason why I made this build in the first place. Look at that, 25% weapon damage. That's flat damage, straight up damage. Minus 35% weapon handling, that means nothing. Give me 100%, minus 100, I don't care. You don't need that, doesn't even affect you. 
Allegro. 10% rate of fire. Perfect. I was very lucky with this roll. If you guys don't get Allegro, it's not a big deal, but try get it if you can. It helps with the mods as well. Unhinged is really good. Now you might you might find that your accuracy will be very bad. The the box will be massive. Don't you worry. These uh, truck bullets will be smacking the enemies in the face. You face tank them and you will have no problems. You'll see what I mean if you use this build, guys. So that with the fix with the defender drone, uh, all the crit that we've got, the flat damage we've got, and this. Make sure you try and get this. Uh, you're going to be hitting that explosive damage. We have stacked a bit of explosive damage as well. And this build really, really hits hard. So with regards to the uh, modding, now what we're going to go for here is crit damage on the site. On the magazine now, you guys, don't worry about stability. That's only really necessary on rifles. Accuracy and stability are good on rifles. You're going to be losing a lot of accuracy and stability because of unhinged. So don't even bother trying to stack it. You can go for crit damage if you want. I've just gone for the extra rounds because it, it puts players on the back foot, especially when you don't have to reload. So I would recommend using the extra rounds. This one, we need stack crit chance. Definitely stack crit chance. It's the best one uh, in slot right there. This is also quite important. Um, I put stability just to help with a bit of distance. You don't really need it. If you want to have damage to elites, go for it. It helps if you're going to be doing a bit of PvP, PvE. Um, so with regards to attributes, like I said before, any kind of damage buff to the LMG or flat damage to weapons, uh, crit damage and crit chance. Stack that and all the attributes. Uh, don't worry about things like skill power and all that. Just focus on armor and the damage bo uh, boosts. Now with gear mods, uh, all you got to do is just fill them up with weapon damage, weapon damage and armor. That's all you got to do. Whatever gear mods you guys have, that you don't, I don't need to show you that because that's all depends on what you guys have got. Um, fill it with armor and weapon damage. Then once you've done that, you'll be good to go. Now let's go into the stats. Uh, we've got all that over there that I showed you guys. 19k weapon damage. That's a lot. That's pretty damn decent. 30% crit chance is good. It can be better, but it's not bad for now. Um, weapon handling, don't worry about that, like I said. All weapons damage bonus, 27%. LMG damage bonus, 30%. It's ridiculous, guys. It really, really smacks hard. Try this build. I love this build. You can see it's all about that flat damage and that crit. Uh, I can make it a lot better. Uh, 182k armor is actually not half, by, half bad. So if you guys can get higher armor, try roll higher armor rolls. Try and get hardened. I'm going to put hardened on my backpack. Just a tip right now, come to this vendor. They are selling a nice little backpack with hardened and damage to elites. So you can buy that. Buy a, I would buy about three or like yeah, two to three of them, two or three of those, and then you can you can recalibrate them into your new pieces, especially when World Tier 5 comes. So this build is amazing. It hits like a truck, and it's very fun to use. And if you like LMGs, you will love this build. So please leave a like, subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye, agents.